Hello and welcome at OKM3D's uh, YouTube channel. Today we will have a look at the Sunlu S2 and S4 filament drying systems. So Sunlu is also known for filaments and resins, but also for the filament dryers. And the S4 is um, yeah, a brand new machine and we want to have a closer look and also showcase the S2. So that's probably the best seller right now. So drying of filament basically helps you to get a consistent quality because the filament, if it's open like that, will just collect humidity out of the air around it and will lose print quality due to the extra water that's in the filament that needs to be, yeah, somehow get out of the filament first before it could be um, correctly melted. So you will have kind of stringing, you will have blobs, you will have holes if the filament is not dry enough. So um, that's why there is a bunch of diff different systems to keep your filament dry but also to um, actively dry it again if, it's, if it got wet. So also filament and um, also hardware manufacturers uh, give you the possibility to dry filament if your printers have a heated plate for example. So you can place your spool of filament on the build plate basically and cover it with a kind of pot or uh, yeah, a kind of uh, yeah, filament uh, box. And then you activate the heating with the Bamboo Lab printers. You got a special setup for that, a special menu where you can just go for PLA, ABS, whatever. And it gives you a certain time and uh, a correct uh, temperature of the plate. But that will take lots of time. So it will up to 12 hours where you need to dry the filament on the plate. And in that time you cannot use the machine. So that's why it makes sense to use a separate filament dryer that not just dries the filament but also can keep it dry inside and then perhaps use additional PDFE tubes to get the filament directly from the drying system to your printer. So with the AMS, AMS that's not needed but with an open system like an NDS3 or whatever that will help a lot to keep your filament dry or to dry it and then keep it dry and then directly feed it to the machine. So that's why there are openings on the machines on the S4. There are uh, in total eight of them, four on the top and four on the side. So you can, for example, have four machines connected directly with the S4. The S4 brings you in the packaging two PDFE tubes. That's basically not enough. So if you want to add four printers, be sure that you have um, another two uh, PDFE tubes because in the box there are just two of them, but you get additionally um, eight pieces of short, P no, four pieces of uh, eight centimeter long PDFE tubes and some other things, um, a, a user's guide and basically the machine, including a normal power plug for European standard like that. So that's it. You have a touch display on front and it's, it's quite big in comparison to the S2. So it's uh, 516 millimeters wide, 278 millimeters deep and uh, 350 height. But you need to also take into account that there is probably another 20-25 centimeters to open that because you will place your hand somewhere so you need way more space to be able to open it but then you can store four spools of filament 1 kg or 1.1 kg uh, no problem and the spools are easy to rotate because there are bearings and uh, yeah a system that it's spooling easily. So you have in total four of them, but you cannot mix the kind of filament because you can just set up one program for the full unit because there are basically three fans in it that blow the hot air and it's circulating inside. That's very clever and very fast, but 
you should have four spools of PLA in there or four spools of PDG or whatever. So you cannot mix, for example, PLA and polycarbonate. That doesn't work because you need differ a different temperature and time setup. So, it, but if you have four similar spools of filament, then this is very useful. The S2 just has one uh, space for one spool and it has a kind of 360 degree heating. So a half circle, so 180 degrees of um, heat elements and then a fan that blows the air basically no, in circles around so that you have 360 degrees same heated air around the filament. And that's very good. So there we have even more circulation, uh, circulation because of the three uh, fans. So that's very good. The S2 is way smaller and you don't have that uh, proper connectors like you have it here. You have just um, a hole with a rubber ring that's also in the packaging where you could place either the delivered PTV tube for 1.75 millimeter filament or you take a 2.85 millimeter uh, filament and but you then need a different PDFE tube that's not delivered with the machine. So but that would be possible here it's just 1.75 millimeter PDFE tube uh, available so basically they should be 4 millimeter and 2 millimeter inside. So um, yeah, there you can't really use uh, 2.85 millimeter filament, but 1.7 works perfectly. So um, the energy the, that is consumed is 330 watts with the S4 and 48 watts for the S2. But of course there's way more space to be heated, so that's why this is stronger. And you, if you calculate, you will notice that this is way more consuming than just four times, but therefore this machine is way faster. Give me my page. So uh, if you want to heat up the S2 coming from 25 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, you will need 60 minutes. With the S4 you just need 30 minutes. So you need just half of the time to heat it up to 50 degrees. If you want to, uh, want to heat both to the maximum temperature they got, that's 70 degrees Celsius, you will need uh, 50 minutes with the S4 and 80 minutes with the S2. So you see that's why it's also consuming way more energy than the S2. Otherwise the machines are very similar, so the heating performance is better here, so you need less time to bring it up to the working temperature. Um, and you just have one spool here, you have four here, but you can also use 2.85 with the S2 and pull it directly out of the, yeah, the machine. Here you can dry them and then use them for example for an Ultimaker S7 or whatever, but you cannot pull it out of the S4. They are both operated by a nice touch display. And they have indication light, there you have a, a bar and here you have a circle, but that's also very similar. You have on both machines pre-set up profiles for PLA, PDG, HIPS, ABS, ASA, polycarbonate and polyamide. I hope I didn't miss something. But you see you have a uh, temperature range in between 35 and 70 degrees Celsius. So you know which filaments you could dry with that. And of course there is a special time. For the S4 you also have, um, you can influence the humidity. So you can set a, a wished percentage of humidity and then it's also doing that. With the S2 you just have the setups and the machine is basically doing its thing with, with heating and ventilation. And then some hours later you take it out. That's it. For the noise level, if I open that, So it's well isolated for noise, but uh, heat, you can feel that it's, yeah, it's just plastic here. So it's thin plastic, so the heat, uh, if it's 70 degrees, will just get out of that. So it's not very efficient, but it's drying the spools quickly. So, 
The S2, also it's everything is from plastic, but what would you expect? So the Sunlu price in Germany, including tax, would be 79.99 euros for the S2 and 159.99 for the S4. So basically, if you have several printers and or are using lots of filament, then the S4 is the better deal. But if you want to bring besides every machine and have lots of different filaments, then take an S2. It's also and it's still the best seller. So and of course it's if you just want to dry filament and have enough time, then the S4 is, uh, S2 is fine. If you have lots of filament, go for the S4. So both uh, displays are really good. The display of the S2 is even a bit bigger. But the rest is very, very similar. Um, it's really easy. You have the presets, so that's very good. So I would advise for everyone that uses lots of filament and has it lying around like me, buy one of these machines or something similar to dry your machine to keep the build quality of your parts at a higher level. Otherwise, the quality will suffer if the uh, filaments get yeah wet basically so yeah that's it for the moment sunlu s4 and s2 both nice machines different pricing different setup so four spools against one spool but both machines easy to handle and yeah nice looking and basically quite cheap for what they bring yeah thank you for watching see you soon bye, -bye.